In this video, we're not looking for new fossils as such, but rather having a look at two of our favourite fossils, which we've had in our collection for quite some time. First of all, I'm going to show a piece of crocodile rostrum. It's a piece of crocodile jaw filled with teeth sockets. And this is a piece that my brother Shea found a few years ago. Also, to compare with that, I've got an incredible piece of crocodile jaw as well, but one which my mum found, and that one is still one of the best we've ever found to date. It's a piece of jaw with both the top and bottom jaws intact, filled with really sharp teeth. We've only ever found one piece like it. I remember the day very well when we did find it. And it's something that we're always looking to find another one of, but unfortunately haven't to this date. We'll have a look at those fossils now and compare the two. I hope you like them. And I've got some really lovely scenery shots as well to have a look at. I hope you enjoy it. Here's a look at the first piece of the crocodile jaw. This is a piece that Shea found, and this is all there was, so we expect the jaw has possibly been predated before fossilization. And interestingly, with this jaw, whilst we've got all of the teeth sockets either side, it's pretty strange how there's a lot more tooth sockets down one side compared to the other. These are a lot closer together. I'm not sure if that's a normal variation of crocodiles or if this is perhaps something a bit pathological. Not entirely sure. If someone knows in the comments, that'd be really nice if you could let us know. Um, but yeah, so potentially two interesting bits. It potentially got eaten before it died and also had something something wrong with its anatomy of its jaw that's the first piece and the second piece of jaw that we've got is right over here now this piece is very different however is also a crocodile jaw and this one has interlocking teeth finding a crocodile jaw with both the top and bottom jaw together very, very unusual. Would have been nice to have the entire skull, of course, but we're very happy with this. Something also interesting with this one is, as you can see, at the very end of the jaw, it's sort of crushed down. I think the rest of the jaw would actually just have been squashed paper thin and not actually preserved. So a couple of really interesting pieces, both very, very nice fossils and both tell a story, a story of the fossils themselves and also story of how we found them for some very nice memories hope you've enjoyed this little video got some more fossils and some more exciting fossils to come thanks for watching now we've got some coastal scenery to have a look at It's always exciting imagining what fossils lie deep within the cliffs. 
This particular part of the cliff is inhabited by seagulls. Thanks for watching this video, let me know if you'd like some more similar to this in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.